Okay, so the run system is often divided into different layers. Okay, so each of which is responsible for different aspects of the system. Uh, one common way of conceptualizing these layers is through the open systems interconnection or the OSI model, which is a conceptual framework that describes the communication functions of a telecommunications or computing system. Okay. So the OSI, okay, OSI uh, uh, model is a set of concepts that describes and standardize how a computer or telecommunication system uh, communicates, regardless of how it is built or what technology it uses. Okay, so yung ating OSI layer, if you can still remember, uh, we have seven layers. Okay, uh, each of which represents a different aspect of communication between devices on a network. Okay, so meron tayong iba't ibang layers dyan. So, yeah, I hope you still remember the OSI model. Can I get a thumbs up? If you still remember the OSI? If you still remember your professor? Who taught you the OSI layer? Meron ba ba nakakaalala dito ng OSI layer? So let's have a quick run through. No? So meron tayong physical layer. Okay, so ito yung layer responsible for the transmission and the reception of raw data over a physical medium such as the copper okay, or fiber optic cable. And then we have the data link layer uh, responsible for reliable transmission of data over a shared physical medium using protocols such as yung Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And then we have the network layer uh, responsible for routing uh, data between different devices on the network using protocols such as the IP or the MPLS. And then meron tayong transport layer responsible for ensuring reliable and efficient data transfer between devices on the network. Uh, ang gumagamit ating protocol dito is the TCP or the UDP. And then we have the session layer, okay? So this layer uh, is uh, used for establishing and managing um, communication sessions between the devices on the network. And it's mga protocols like RPC and NetBIOS. And then we have the presentation layer responsible for formatting and presenting the data to be transmitted over a network, katulad ng mga ASCII or JPEG. And lastly, meron tayo nung application layer uh, responsible for providing high-level services and applications to users, mm -hmm. such as yung email, web browsing, and voice calling. Okay, so each of these layers plays a critical role in the operation of a radio access network system. So enabling mobile devices para makakonect to the wider network and access the wide range of services. <clears throat> so, um... If you mapped it no, sa radio access network, yung ating OSI layer, um, and then you will divide uh, these layers into the main divisions ng radio access network natin, like the radio unit and the baseband unit, you can see that the layer 1, 2, and 3 can be found in these components, the radio unit and the baseband unit. And the other uh, layers can be found in the other parts of the network. And then sometimes uh, it's uh, fi uh, we find it uh, hard to memorize no itong mga uh, sequence no apply nung ating mga model no ng seven layers. So we have a uh, mnemonics na ginagamit dito. So we have the seven layers mnemonics. So if you're starting from the application layer down to physical layer all People seem to need data processing. Okay, all people seem to need data processing. So, application, presentation, session layer, transport, network, data layer, and the physical layer. But if you're in the Philippines, we have a different mnemonics, right? And the mnemonics that uh, we use. Most of the time, can you type in? So, ano na, no? 
Uh, especially yung mga suki niya na no, Asia Open na Academy, alam na nila. Okay. So, in the, in the Philippines, we have a different set of mnemonics. Uh, and if you're, if you're in abroad, and if you want to share it to your colleagues abroad, uh, you say it, uh, ang pulis sa tulay na dipa. <laughs> Ganun ang pagkakabigkas, no? Ang pulis sa tulay na dipa. Okay, yeah. So you will sound uh, foreign also. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so so that's how uh, we memorize the mnemonics of the OSI. So, kailangan na tandaan dahil pag pinag-usapan na natin yung run splitting mamaya, these three layers will be very critical and important. Okay? Especially when we are talking about different configurations, different network splits. Okay? These three are very important. Okay? Especially of all, also if you are in the radio access uh network or engineering department so this uh, the analysis most of the time are uh done in this uh, network layer and the physical layer okay okay uh now uh let's map no uh the run in the osi layer here okay so you can see um ah, sorry no uh, let's uh start it here so these are the the this is the table of the OSI layer and then mapping the radio access network layer. Okay. As mentioned, the run uh, mapping to the OSI layer uh, falls in these uh, three uh, layers, the network layer, the data link, and the physical. Specifically, if you go for the run, okay, uh, the radio access network has different protocols, but the protocols can be mapped into the OSI uh, layer. Like for example, the RRC, the Radio Resource uh, Control okay, Protocol, it can be mapped in the network layer. The Packet Data Convergence Protocol and the Radio Link Control and the uh, Media Access Control can be linked in the data link. And the Air Interface can be uh, in the physical layer. Okay. So later, we'll discuss what are the functionalities of this. RRC, PDCP, RLC, MAC, and the physical. So let's go back to the um, uh, interconnection no, of uh, the radio access uh, components. So kanina, uh, you will become aware that the UE or that user terminals is connected to the radio access network, right? This is the radio access network. And then you have the core network. Okay. So if we focus on the radio access network, there is an antenna system. It could be passive or active antenna system. But if you go for the RF part, the RRU, the remote radio unit, okay? So this is where the physical layer can be, the, can be seen. So the physical layer consists of the RF conversion, okay? So the modulation and the modulation is happening here, analog to digital and digital to analog. The BBU performs a lot of tasks. Okay, so that's why it's one of the important part. Okay. So the BBU holds this RRC, PDCP, the RLC, the MAC, and the physical. So what are the uh, these uh, protocols? No? So the RRC or the radio resource control uh, uh, protocol is uh, responsible for broadcast, paging, connection management mobility functions, measurement configuration, and reporting. So, ano, ano, ano? Uh, typical example is that um, um, whenever somebody is uh, calling you, uh, the network needs to be uh, to page you para hanapin ka network. So, it uses the RRC protocol. Okay? Before mag-ring yung telepono mo, no? it will be page muna. Hahanapin ka muna kung nasaan ka. Okay? And then the PDCP, the Packet Data Convergence Protocol, okay, um, it's um, responsible for the IP header compression, okay, and security. So it includes yung ciphering and integrity integrity protection. And then once na lumagpas yan dito sa PDCP, and then yung RLC kung pababata yon, uh, we go we go to the radio link uh, control protocol, no. 
So this is where the segmentation. Pinaghihiwalay na natin yung mga headers no, na galing sa PDCP. Okay? And then kung uh, malaki yung data, we had to concatenate no? or segmentation or concatenation. Meron tayo mga automatic uh, repeat request okay? kapag may mga errors tayo na detect and duplicate detection. So dito nangyayari yan sa RLC. And for the Mac, um, the medium access control, uh, nandito nangyayari multiplexing. Pinagkasama natin yung mga logical channels dito. If you're familiar with the carrier aggregation, this is where the carrier aggregation happens sa Mac layer. Okay? Nandito rin yung mga hybrid, automatic request, channel mapping, and then packet scheduling, and then yung mga quality of service. And uh, yung pinaka-bottom na part is yung physical layer. Nandito yung mga error correction, yung mga cyclic uh, redundancy checking. Uh, coding, okay? you are the adding bits to the um, uh, packet no? or to the, to the existing bits no? para magkaroon tayo ng redundancy. And then yung modulation, so dito na papasok yung mga 16 QAM, 64 QAM, or QPSK. Okay? And then the modulation, and then you will be uh, doing the resource element mapper. So if you have this uh, resource element, like for example, if you're using LTE, so there is uh, what we call the resource element mapper. And the inverse fast Fourier transform. Okay, so this is where... Uh, na the best ano, best uh, illustration of the run and the OSI layer mapping. Okay, so if you look at this in the table again, this were the RRC, the network, the PDCP, RLC, and MAC, the data link, and the physical is here. Okay, so that is the uh, run and OSI layer. 